Okay, let's do another example of solving linear equations uh, using the graphical method. And here's my two equations, so let me put down an x and a y axis. Here's my x axis, there's my y axis. And counting out some points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative one, negative two, negative three, how about one, I want to make those about the same size, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is eight, this is seven, negative three, all right. Now, let me go ahead and graph these. Taking my first one, oh, wait a minute, they're not yet in the slope insert form. I want to write them exactly in that form, so let me rewrite that equation like a y equals mx plus b, again, m being the slope and b being the intercept. That means I have to move the x across. I get y equals minus x plus 6. My other equation, I need to move the x across. I end up with a negative y equals negative x plus 2. And then of course, I don't want a negative y there, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 or simply, simply uh, change all the signs. So this becomes a positive y equals a positive x minus 2. So go ahead and, so now I have this equation here and this equation here, which are the y, the slope intercept form of the original equations that I got. And I go ahead and, and grab these. So the first one, my intercept is 6, which is over here. And my slope is a negative 1, which means I drop 1 and run 1, drop 1, run 1, or drop 6 and run 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's right there. So that means I, the line comes from this point to this point. If I connect the two points, like so, this is the linear representation or the line representation of this equation. Graphing the next equation, my intercept is a negative 2, which is right here, negative 2. And my slope is a positive 1, which means I rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1, or rise 2, run 2. So right there, if I connect those two points, there we go. So this is the linear representation or the line that represents the equation y equals x minus 2. Now, where the two lines cross? That's my solution right there. And you can see that the x value is a 4, the y value is a 2. So I'm assuming the solution is 4, 2. Now, do I know that that's exact? Well, again, doing the graphical method is not so exact, and you might be slightly off. But let's go and check to see if I got the right, um, right intersection here. If I plug in a 4 and a 2 into my first equation, so if I let y equal 2, x equal 4, I get 2 equals minus 4 plus 6, and minus 4 plus 6 is indeed 2, so that seems to work. If I plug the numbers in here, um, 4 for y, oh, no, 4 for x, 2 for y, so I get 2 equals 4 minus 2. That seems to be okay as well, so yes, I did find the correct solution. So that's how you solve for linear equations using the graphical method.